Here we have a slightly used 2023 Acura Integra. Now this one comes in the A-Spec trim level with the tech package in Apex Blue Pearl. And then we do have the Orchid Sport Micro Suede seats. And for the powertrain, we get a 200 horsepower, 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine made it to a CVT. And this one was traded in recently, just a little over 12,000 miles on it. But as we get around the front end here, we have the LED daytime running lights and the jewel eye LED headlamps. Fantastic looking front fascia here. It just looks so sporty, so elegant. And I just love this blue. 18 inch alloy wheels here. Passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then we do have our memory seat controls here. We get the ELS Studio 3D 16 speaker sound system. And then we have our power mirror controls there, power door locks, one touch automatic up and down windows for the front, regular power windows for the back. Traction control toggle is there. If you need to open the hood, go right there. Release for the steering wheel. You can tilt and telescope that. And there, I believe it's a 12 way power driver's seat, including that four way power lumbar support. Love the seats there. It's kind of like, I don't know if this is real leather or faux leather, but the micro suede insert feels so nice and the, the color combo just looks really good in this car. But I want to give a huge shout out to Genesis of Cool Springs and Hyundai of Cool Springs for allowing me to review this car today. I'll leave a link below in the description. I think we still have the, the window sticker that comes with this one, so I'll show you all that one in a minute. And sorry for the wind noise, it's just can't decide if it wants to be windy or quiet out here. But I'm gonna hop in the back seat. Seat up front's adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So sitting behind myself, actually not bad. So of course, it's not the best space back here. This is one of the smallest cars, and might be the smallest car Acura offers. Um, so still impressed by it. We get two USB-A ports back here. Seat back pocket there. Center seat folds down, bottle holders are there. Impressed we have that LED dome light. And there's a view of the front from back here. And we also have a grab handle here. We can hang a plastic hanger or a metal hanger hook there if we need to. Getting out of here. I do have to step up, but now for the fuel door, it is push button, capless. So premium is recommended, but regular is fine. As we come around to the back end here, I really like the exhaust. I like the rear end too. I love those tail lamps. It just looks so sleek, but the exhaust system just looks very, very nice. Reminds me of the Civic SIs. And then I also love how they integrated the handle here or the release here to open the trunk. So there's a look back there. So all of that's here, tire inflator kit. And I like that we have that side pocket here that's net and we can pull that up or down depending on what we need to use it for. And then top tether for the middle seats there and then the outboard seat stairs behind the actual seat. I like that. Yeah, this just, the car makes a lot of sense. I like the lip there too, the spoiler. I don't know if that was stock or not. But to fold the seat down, pull this lever here. And when it's up far enough, it'll fold flat. You can run longer objects through to the front and then snaps back into place very easily. And then here's our front passenger seat, which is also power. Nice to have that glove compartment here. And then here's this window sticker. Just bear with me, I'm gonna open this up. So y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look at anything. But $38,095, not a bad price in my opinion, especially for an Acura, even though it's a, the car version, the smaller car version, I still think it's a pretty good deal. And you're getting 29 miles per gallon city, 36 highway with a 200 horsepower turbocharged engine, which I think is also pretty impressive. But coming back around front here, there's a look in the engine bay. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So 
So nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. There's the horn. Over here to the screen, we do get AM, FM, XM radio, and then we also have Bluetooth audio along with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. Backup cameras there, guidelines follow you to turn the steering wheel. Audio can be adjusted here. Click there to turn the audio off. So everything's pretty self-explanatory. Like in the Hondas, I really like how they redid these radios here. You can go through, everything makes sense. If you're gonna go through any of your system settings, you can do that, change your language, date and time, all of that there. And then you can quickly go through your audio source with the touch of a button, including Alexa. So I'm just really impressed how they did that. Now we get dual zone automatic climate controls along with three stage heated front seats here. We adjust fan speed here, turn the system on or off by pressing that button, turn the auto mode on, and then we can adjust the fan speed to turn that off. And then we can sync and unsync here. USB-A, USB-C port, 12 volt wireless charging pad is here. Now we do have our dynamic mode so we can toggle between sport, normal, comfort, and then our individual modes, press of a button there. Auto stop toggles there. Electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down and disengage. Automatic brake hold. And then for the shifter itself, pull the lever, reverse, neutral drive. And then you can go into the sport mode. You can also manually shift using the paddle shifters behind there to give you those simulated shifts with a CVT. Center console space there, bottle holders. And then as we're opening the sunshade, there are the controls for the lights as well as the sunroof, sunglasses holders there. So you can push the tilt or slide, or push it back to slide, excuse me. And one touch takes it all the way back, which I like, and then one touch will close it. And vanity mirrors here. Now back to the steering wheel, just a quick run through. Blinkers, low beams, auto, off. We can toggle the high beams by doing that, and we can flash there and fog lights as well. And then we do have automatic wipers, so one time off, auto low, high, and we can adjust the auto sensitivity there. Again, those paddle shifters are behind the steering wheel. We can go through our track list, radio station presets here, volume can be adjusted there. And then I love this. First of all, we have voice recognition, but we have this knob here, two knobs on either side, so we can adjust depending on what side it is. So I can go through my audio sources here, customize the display, all of that. And then I can just have that tachometer there when I go back all the way. And then I have my speedometer on the right side and I can use this scroll bar to go through what's in that menu over there. And then I can mess with the heads up display, gauge display, all of that. Then everything else, lane centering's there, or the lane keeping assist system is there. Adaptive cruise, we can toggle that there. Cancel, set the speed, and adjust the gap for that adaptive cruise as well. And we do have a heads up display right in there. Push button starts there. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. But next, it's time to go ahead and take this 2023 Integra A spec out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Integra A-Spec, I do love the overall look of the interior, the look of the exterior. It's just a good looking car all in all. But I also just like how this 1.5 turbo moves. It's 200 horsepower, you can feel it when you're driving this thing. It's very impressive even with the CVT. And honestly, the CVT doesn't even feel like a CVT. I feel like I'm in just a traditional automatic here especially when I can just throw on the paddle shifters at any time. Get a nice pull there. But it actually makes me dislike the CVT just a tad less in terms of just a fun transmission because these simulated shifts, these paddle shifters, it does remind me of the manual mode that you get in the Subarus and then just when you have the paddle shifters with certain Nissans that it comes with, it just, it makes it that much more fun. So very impressive setup here so far. So I have everything full on sport. I have the shifter in the S position. I have the sport dynamic mode engaged and I'm using the paddle shifters just to see how this thing will do.
pretty excited to see what it's capable of. So we're gonna see how this gets up to speed getting on the interstate here. Gonna give myself as much space as possible. This is gonna be perfect. All right, here we go. This 200 horsepower 1.5 turbo is great. And with the paddle shifters, even with the CVT, it is fun to drive. Yeah, that is very nice. I'm gonna put in a drive now, activate the safety suite here. Again, we get the lane keeping system, adaptive cruise control. It's just, fantastic to have the best of both worlds with this car just something that's so fun to drive on a daily basis but then you have Acura's suite of safety features blind spot monitors adaptive cruise lane keeping system and then you're still able to get 36 miles per gallon in this thing it's crazy really makes me want to get one honestly I did not think I'd be that impressed with this, but it's just, it is, it's fun. It's fun to drive. It's low key practical for what you get. And it's just, it's a great looking car. So the auto stop didn't engage earlier because I've had it in sport mode, the majority of this test drive, but now that I have it in comfort mode, the auto stop is being enabled. It's nice to have that. And then just everything else that you get here is just great from a driver's perspective. You have that sport mode, and if you wanna drive more comfortably, you have that comfort mode. And it's just such, again, I can't say enough about how much fun this car is to drive. So I like the Integra because it does kind of put you in comparison with, it gives me kind of, I don't necessarily wanna say the Corolla GR, but a sportier Corolla. Obviously this is the, the Acura variant, so maybe, uh, if there was a comparable Lexus, I mean, that would be a good competitor. Probably the CT4 from Cadillac is gonna be the biggest competitor in terms of something around 40 grand that's supposed to be considered luxury. But I mean, this just, this has that fun factor too. As much fun as the CT4 V is to drive, this just, this hits differently. This is just one of those that I feel like I'm in, again, a Civic Si the best way to describe this it's fun it's practical it looks nice and it doesn't break the bank but kudos to Acura to making a fantastic vehicle especially after I did my review of the 2022 MDX I was kind of I didn't know what I was thinking about Acura long term but they knocked it out of the park with this Integra spec so with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Acura A-Spec with the tech package. The Integra A-Spec with the tech package.